Hello everybody, Zeph here with Zeph's Trading. I got something simple for you today, something to give you an edge with a high win rate. And we're going to go over quite a few examples today which are great winners. That's going to be two to three times your risk. Call it the bull bear flag strategy. And we just keep it simple. So let's get right into it. We need quality setups for this one. You can get about four to five good ones a day. So scalping the ES, the NASDAQ, whatever you find that has good relative volume for the day. We're measuring our risk by always trying to go for two to three times our risk. Uh, the rewards for the risk are also good opportunities. Um, buying into a pullback and looking for a squeeze up is basically the main part of this entire move here. And you're looking for that measured move as well. Most of the time, sometimes you don't get it, but you're always looking for that A, B, C pattern. And the most important thing is we're going with the trend. So what is this and how do we kind of get right into it? What's the criteria for the setup? Well, we must have four to 10 candles in a row on the up or down. So for bullish, we want one, two, three, four green bars closing all breaking above each other's highs and vice versa for if we're going bearish bigger the bars better the bars we're looking for a pullback to the 9 ema or any type of major support level forming a flag pattern you can use any market looking for good volume you can do this on stocks futures forex whichever price actions all the same i prefer to trade this on the one minute time frame and or a five minute time frame but go ahead and experiment what works for you so what's our entry, what's our exit? So once it has pulled back to the nine EMA or the support level after four to 10 bars have closed consecutively, we look to buy the first candle to break the first one minute candles new high and or low. Then we place a stop order initially under one tick under the signal bar we entered on. And we go for two to three times our risk. And that can evolve based on trailing your stop under each new bar that prints. And I'll show you how to do that. A Little bit of extra stuff here. You can use your Fibonacci um, extensions to find potential targets or basic support and resistance levels. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you some examples. Okay, so we have quite a few examples today, which is great for learning opportunity here. As you can see, I'm on the one minute time frame on the ES futures. April 5th, I have my nine period EMA here, which is this black line. And now what we're looking for is consecutive bull bars since the trend is up from the day we gapped up holding on the 9 EMA now we're looking for a flag pattern so as you can see here we have a pretty decent signal bar it's an inside bar and how we exactly do this is once we see that swing high we're looking for that flag looking pattern like that and so now we have a high the next bar prints and it never takes out the high the next bar prints and it never takes out the high. What we're looking to enter on is a stop order one tick above the first minute candle that breaks a new high, which would be right here. And our stop would go one tick underneath it. So one tick above, stop order one tick below, and we'll go for two times our risk. You can do three to four depending on how strong some of the bars are. So that's one first example of what you're looking for. Multiple bars closing on their highs, Green bars closing consecutively, a flag pattern to the pullback to the 9 EMA. If you can, and a nice signal bar approaches, that's great. Buy the first one minute candle to break the new high. And that's it. And you go for two times the risk. So you can take a tool. Where's my two times? And then what you can also do is you can trail your stop under each new bar that prints if you'd like. And then once that happens, you can adjust your, your uh, stop loss order and your profit target order. Because risk is evolving. It's not stagnant. So what we can do if we have multiple contracts or we're you know, uneasy about the price action. Once we're in at one tick, we can move our stop loss one tick underneath once this bar prints. And now we're going for two times our risk still. So that's an also way you can evolve the risk to reward and as you're scalping. This does take a little bit of practice to do because things happen pretty fast, especially on a one minute time frame. But let me go over a few more examples. So we have one win right there. 
Here's another one. You can see multiple green bars closing. We have a pullback going for two times our risk. Wait a few minutes. And about 15 minutes later, we get our two times our risk. And this actually led to more than two times. I mean, you can see, depending on how you play this, you can get quite a few R multipliers going on here. But as you can, hopefully you can see that up move, pull back to the 90 EMA. Candle didn't break a high. Candle didn't break a high. Here we go. Candle broke the first high on the one minute time frame. Enter, stop. Again, multiple bars closing all consecutively green. Pull back. Now this one isn't at the 9 EMA, but it's such a low risk bar that you can take it. And say it's an outside bar, which happens, and you get stopped out, just enter one tick above once the outside bar closes and go with it. So there's one, two, three. Here we go again. We have a downtrend. We can also see a A, B, C. So this trend might be done here. Move up one, two, three, four consecutive bars closing on their lows. Pull back to the 9 EMA. First one minute candle breaks a new high. Again, two times our risk. There we go. There's another one. Same thing here, multiple green bars. We have over 10 green bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Pulls back, didn't make a new high, didn't break 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 a new high, broke the high. Two times our risk, three times our risk, depending on how you want to play it. With these types of ones, I would go for, um, I'd go for about three to four times my risk and or trail the stop accordingly because this is a huge bullish move up. And we'll go again. So here's here's one that's a loser. So we have one, two, three, four, five red bars. So this is gonna be a bearish trade. Inside bar, we entered and we got stopped out, which is totally fine. So there's a loser right there, but we always are trying to make more than we lose. And then just a few minutes later, you have one, two, three, four, pull back, nice signal bar, two times our risk. There's another one. Same thing here. Multiple red bars closing on their lows. Didn't break a low, didn't break a low, didn't break a low, didn't break a low. Broke the low. Stop order one tick above. You can go again, two to three times your risk. There's another one. Um, here's one right here. This one took a second. And so here's another one that I took live. Nice move up. Pulls back. This candle is the one that broke its high. So I entered. My stop goes one tick below. You can see how close it got. But that's why we have our stop one tick below. And as it was evolving, I adjusted my stop right here. One tick underneath this bar. And then it went to there. Then it, I saw this one, this one. I saw this nice green bar, so I evolved my risk. One tick below. And I got out just a little bit one tick above that. So that's how I actually traded this live with showing the evolving risk and how you can do this. Once again, here's another one. We have a move down. Bear flag, you can clearly see it's only one, two, three, but you can clearly see a most textbook bear flag formation. And that's what we're trading, two times our risk. Here's another one, one, two, three, four, pulls back inside bar, two times our risk. There's another one. And that's pretty much how it played throughout for the rest of the day. So you can see we have over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 winners, one loser. So hopefully this is a super simple strategy that you guys can grasp. I know this is not a very long video, which is the point. I wanted to show you guys this strategy. Go ahead and trade it with real live data. You'll definitely see the results. And hopefully this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please head over to either the email section and shoot me an email or in the YouTube comment section below and I can answer your question or consider joining the Discord by checking out my website. Thank you. Have a good day.